everybody. How are you doing today? I hope that you are having a fine afternoon. And so I'd like to know in comments, how many of you guys are feeling like you are doing social media good? How do you feel about your social media game? And while you're at it, why don't you tell me in comments, which platforms are you using when it comes to social media? So are you using Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, email, like what are you doing in the social media space? So, you know, because today's topic is really about like, how do we crack the code that is social media? Because you not only have to be like good at putting together trips, good at understanding who your client is. I was just on a call, which is the reason why I was a little bit late. And I was talking um, and one of the travel advisors on that call was talking about how do you find their ideal client, right? They have a particular market that they're trying to get into and they were trying to find out how, how do you find their peeps? Like, how do you guys feel about that? Are you looking for where your peeps are? Because the reality is in 2024, we are about to close out quarter three of 2024 and start our last quarter, the last journey of the year. And that may be the burning question that you have, which is where are my peeps at? I can't find them. They're on social media. They're on one of the many um, social media platforms that are available to you. And you can't afford in this day and age not to be good at social media. Like you've got to have a good, strong social media game. But there's a trick to it. There is a trick. And that trick, tricks, plural, is not the same as it was last year or the same as it was five years ago or 10 years ago. How to be successful on social media. I would have to say, you know, I started, I was planning out my uh, speech for today and I was thinking like, what is the key to social media? And I'm going to tell you it's two things. The first thing is consistency. And I know that you guys hear that all the time. Be consistent. Well, what does consistency mean? I'm posting on my platform and nobody's interacting with me. This brings in my second uh, objective or thing that you've got to know when it comes to social media is you've got to play the game according to the game. Like, you, do you ever heard of that? Like, I, I watch a lot of Westerns and um, there's this line that says, you don't bring a knife to a gunfight, right? And so that's exactly what it is when it comes to social media um, success and marketing on social media platforms is that you can't be bringing the wrong strategy um, to your social media presence and think it's going to be successful. So let's talk about a few things that you've got to have in place to ensure that you see the success that you want. First and foremost, social media is social. <laughs> so you can't be on social media and see success and not be social. It is and was designed initially for people who know each other to come together and share stories and connect with their friends and family. And now it's a huge you know, opportunity for small businesses to connect with people on a personal level. So the number one mistake that I see on social media or using social media to advertise or market your travel business is that you're not social, <laughs> that you, you aren't connecting with people. You know, I have a lot of of advisors tell me um, in conversation that they're, you know, they're not good at social media, right? They're not good at technology and they're not good at Facebook and they're not good at Instagram. And the reality is, is that, you know, I wasn't good at a lot of things that I started um, when I first started them. And the only way that I got, I became good at them is, is I did them and I did them regularly. I did them consistently. So when, you know, when we were younger, you know, I'm, I am of a certain age now, right? When I was younger and I wanted to master a thing, I didn't not do the thing to master it. I did the thing. I did it and I did it regularly. And so the key here in doing social media regularly is, is that you've got to be social. That's first and foremost. But when I say social, you may be saying like, what does that mean? Social, like with who I'm social. Like I talk about like what happened to me on, you know, my last trip, or I showed a lot of pictures. I'm talking to people about the fact that I've got a trip to sell. What do you mean by social Sunday? And here's the thing. Who do you, who is on your personal page or connected 
on your accounts now. If you want to use social media for marketing, right, and you want to use it as a way to connect with your ideal client, is your ideal client connected you connected to you on social media platforms, right? Pick a platform. I don't care which platform you pick. If you decide at Facebook, right, the number one way to be social with people on Facebook now, 2024, is on your personal page, right? Last year, two years ago, three years ago, I would have said, no, you got to be on a business page, you got to be in a Facebook group. But really, Facebook has changed its whole approach on how it delivers content and how it will let you connect with the people that know you. You've got to have your ideal client connected to you. So that means you've got to do some legwork to be noticed by your ideal client. So if you want to crack the code of Facebook, you got to connect and be connected to the people that you want to work with. So give me an example of somebody that you want to work with. If you want to work with senior citizens, if you want to work with married couples who want romantic getaways, you want to work with professional busy women, who's on your personal page right now? If you look at and you open up your personal page and you look at all your friends in your personal page, are they people like that you went to high school with that you don't even talk to anymore that you're sort of silently stalking or are they people who are who have clicked on stuff that relate to them that have decided to befriend you or connect with you or have you reached out to people that are your ideal client the hashtags that you're using on instagram are they attracting your ideal client your youtube channel that has all these great imagery and vi um, videos about these amazing destinations these are luxurious destinations is the content written in a way that would get them to find you and click on you right so it's really who is following you that's the secret right do you have the right people following you in the social circles that you are posting on that they care about right so that's going to be the number one thing that you're going to be thinking about is if you're going to be on any of these platforms i don't care pick whichever platform you are one you've got to be consistent two you've got to be social and connected with the people that you want and if you aren't that means you need to have a way to attract them right what's the reason that somebody is going to stop and watch your TikTok video if it's dancing videos that you do and you want to get busy professionals watching your dancing videos that you talk about your travel business business on, right? Are they appealing to the people that you want to, right? Don't create content because you think that the content will be viral because yes, it'll be viral potentially, but it doesn't mean that it'll still be your ideal client. We want content that's going to connect to the people that we want. We want content that's relevant to the people that we want to work with. So when it comes to being social on social media, it's not that I need to just talk about me. Actually, you should probably talk about you less when you're on social media, when you're using social media for marketing. You want to talk about you less and talk about them more because that's how people, that's what people care about. They don't care about you and me. They care about them and what they want and what they are going through, what they're struggling with or why they want to go out of town or where they want to go out of town and why you can help them. Right. So when it comes to being social on a social platform, it's not that we need to be sharing more pictures of us. We need to be sharing pictures of us that allow people to connect them to the destinations that we want to go to. So the socialness is the content, right? It's the type of content that you're doing. I don't want you posting stuff all about the trips, the multiple thousand dollar trips that you have to offer and the fact that it's got a swim up pool and that it's all inclusive because those are great features. But why does your busy professional care about that? Like, why is that even important to them? Why does your senior traveler who's interested in social adventure or doesn't even know that they need to be interested in social adventure, right? Or solo adventure travel, why do why would they why would they stop why would they stop their day look at your ad or look at your post and be like oh my god i want that or oh my god i'm interested in it because that's what you really need to be creating when it comes to social media content is oh my god uh, oh my god stops right omg stops and, and and don't get me wrong those omg stops don't have to be like crazy TikTok videos or crazy videos that are showing you doing stupid things right it doesn't have to be that 
it's got to be the oh my god in someone's head that they say yeah that's me or yeah i'm interested and they've having this internal conversation i always i always say that the best posts are the posts that create the internal conversation in someone's head that says oh yeah yeah that's interesting i mean because i'm like when i'm actually surfing through because i do a lot of surfing for ideas content um content uh brain teasers for me so i'm searching um social media and the things that make me stop just as a just as a consumer of content the things that make me stop are the things that i have a 20 less second conversation in my head about that says Oh, I want to see what that's about. Oh, yeah, I want to do that, right? So I'm constantly doing these, oh my gosh, statements in my head, or, oh, I want to see that, or, oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's that's me, or, right? And those are the kinds of, con- you want to create conversations in the people's head about what you have to say. So it can't be about you if they don't know you because they don't care about you, right? So it can't be, that's great that you were just in Bali, right? It's great. I could show you a bunch of pictures of Bali, but if I'm not connecting why Bali is the place that they need to be, then it's not going to do what we want it to do, which is to get them to stop and say yes to whatever it is that you're you're saying or doing. So number three is really about the socialness but making sure that that social post, that content in the post is connecting with who it is that you want to get out of town. And so, you know, literally probably now into the end of the year, you're going to hear me talk about who your ideal client is, because once you know who that is, everything that you do becomes so much easier to create. If I know who it is that I want to get out of town and I know who it is that I'm talking to, creating content that's valuable to them is so easy to do. So, Facebook, its code is pretty simple. It wants you to create content that people are going to click and share and comment on. That's what it wants, right? YouTube wants the same thing. YouTube wants the video content that you create to be clicked on, viewed, so that they can get their advertisers to make money. That's, That's the platform. Instagram wants people to comment, wants people to view and interact with the photos, right? So each of the platforms that you're on have a purpose. They all have it. They all care about them and what their vision and their objectives are. And if you want to be on those platforms and you want to see success, you better know what those platforms rules are. You better know what those platforms want in terms of the content. And as soon as you figure that out, then creating content that is important to them and that will satisfy their vision will ensure that your your content gets seen more so i can talk about the platforms that i am like completely and totally in love with youtube every travel advisor needs to have a youtube channel why because it's free free advertising you don't have to pay you can do google ads you can pay for youtube ads and you can go down that right and you're going to see success if you do that correctly but youtube video content we are a visual industry the people who who interact with our content, they visually want to be enticed, right? They want to be enticed by the imagery and then what you have to say about the destination and the experience. And if you are going to be on camera on YouTube, then I would be talking about how you're, I would be giving opinion about destinations and what your ideal client cares about. YouTube wants you to create content that its viewers think are valuable. So if you create specific content for a type of audience and you put the seo words into the youtube videos people are going to click on it and youtube is going to show it to them it's a simple algorithm for youtube facebook is the same way they i literally read i I love that word literally but i literally read this i want to say about six months ago because the algorithm for facebook changed um, in the last, I think it's like 12 months, maybe, uh, 12 to 18 months it changed. And whereas, you know, pay for, pay for traffic was definitely the way it's still a very, very viable. If you open up your checkbook, you know, get your credit card out and you do Facebook ads, Facebook is going to deliver your content to your target audience. However, if you want to do it organically, Facebook only has a small limited number of 
traffic it's going to release out daily right i think it's like a billion posts or a million i can't remember the number exactly but what what when i read this what it told me is is that facebook has a very specific type of content it's looking for so if your content doesn't get likes shares doesn't get comments right then it's not likely that facebook is going to organically show that but if you create content that your ideal client is connected to, then Facebook will show it to more people. This is why you'll see my post say comment. This is why you'll see my com my my post ask for that engagement because it will automatically start delivering it to more people. So the code to crack when it comes to Facebook is engagement. That's the only way that your content organically is going to be seen even within the communities that you own like i have a pretty large facebook community even within my community and that's a shift for facebook it will only show those posts that get high engagement and it makes a decision algorithmically right the computer the system the you know the system makes a decision on if it's something that my audience wants doesn't matter if my audience is already connected to me right so you got to be able to understand the game of the particular platform that you're in. If you go to Pinterest, I think every, tra every travel advisor should have a Pinterest channel, right? They should have a YouTube channel because those are two organic channels that still are very much organic and driven by SEO, right? So the words that you put in the post and in the description, the hashtags that you use are designed for people to, when you when they are searched, it will then come up in the search results, your video and the content that you put on YouTube and in Pinterest will surface up, right? Facebook is not a search engine type of platform. What I will also tell you, for those of you who are my AI followers, right, is there's a new AI tool called Perplexity AI. If you have YouTube content out there and you've SEO'd it, and somebody is searching for the best Bali destinations and you've done a video on the best Bali destinations for couples, right? You are going to show up in perplexity AI results, right? This is a AI tool that you can use. It literally is now replacing Google for me. And it is an AI tool that I now use to search because it goes across the internet and then it brings back video, video responses. It brings back, and you know what? I'm going to do a demo for you because I I'm a I'm a demo kind of girl. Like I am so in love with perplexity right now. Um, and I literally just uh per perplexity. Let's see if I can get it up uh this quickly. Like literally, I know this is why my 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 admins like they're like, you never know what you're gonna do. So I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna show you the amazingness of perplexity. Uh, hold on, let me, I, I was not prepared to share, but let me get, let me get there. I'm getting there. All right. So I'm going to share perplexity and I want to show you just how awesome perplexity is and why when you're talking about organic content that you need to be, be you or content that you need to be creating in your travel business and you want to be social and you want to use social media is nobody's bringing back the post in Facebook when a search is done on the internet. What's coming back on the internet from searches that are done are, are YouTube videos, right? Articles that you write, um, content that you release out there on the internet streets, right? So your posts, they have a very short shelf life. However, YouTube and Pinterest do not. So when it talk, when I talk about the best platforms, I think for travel advisors, it's those platforms where the content that you create are going to have a longer shelf life than Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Don't get me wrong. Those are all great platforms to get, uh, get exposure and for you to be known. But when it comes to longevity and content that I want to remain out there in the streets in terms of my expertise, I want stuff that's out there and searchable on the internet. So that would be my tip number four is make sure that you're picking platforms that allow you to get immediate engagement, but then also is living out there so that when somebody searches for whatever it is that you do, whatever your specialty is, whoever it is that you specialize in, that you're going to show up in the search results. So I'm going to just, um, I'm just in perplexity and I'm just going to type my name because what I want, want to do is I want to show you what 
perplexity will come back and bring. Now, so there is, uh, there is, hold on, am I even logged in? Let's see. Did I even spell my name right? <laughs> That's so funny. I always think it's funny when I, uh, if I even did my name right. I always love doing these things live because you never know what you're going to get in terms of results. I would have been great like back in the 70s or whatever doing live television. So what I like is, oh, look at that. I'm a prominent figure in the travel industry. <laughs> So anyway, the, the point is, is that it, like when you type in when somebody is searching for stuff, people Google stuff now, right? The great thing about perplexity AI is it's not only just Googling what's on the internet, it's also looking at videos too. So, and it's also, you, you get this opportunity to generate, I think I, sh I shared perplexity with you guys a couple of uh, days ago, maybe last week, but what I love here is this whole, no, really, come on. I just did this the other day and I saw um videos so let's do it one more time so here it tells you who the person is and let's just say let's do best Bali destinations what i like about perplexity is is that it's going to give you sources of where it's pulling its information gives you images and then you can also this is images what i love about it is the videos is that it will also show you videos of course i do this and then it's not showing me videos I don't know. I'm gonna blame, I'm gonna blame this on um, Helen. <laughs> there it is. Search videos. I don't know why it took so long to show up. So here, look. I just did best Bali videos. I mean, best uh, best. What did I what did I type here? I don't even remember what I typed. Uh, I think I did best Bali destinations. And when I did videos, then I've got these video. Oh, this was videos. I didn't even know this was videos. All these videos are showing up. If you want to specialize in Bali, you should have videos about Bali. Uh, and it's an, an organic way for you to get your content up. You don't even have to be on camera. That's the beautifulness about this is that you don't necessarily have to be on camera. You can create images. Your voice can be in the background. You can create an image um, gallery and be doing a voiceover and then have this video on here. The point is, is that when it comes to content, when I think of social media, YouTube is absolutely one of those platforms in the social media space. As a travel advisor, you should have opinions on destinations. You should have opinions on experiences. You should have opinions on the best thing to do, the things to avoid, the things that are great to do, hidden gems. All of those things should be opinions that you have. When you talk about being social, you should be sharing those opinions. Facebook, even though it's an amazing platform and a post, shelf life is short, right? A post shelf life is like maybe a couple of hours, maybe 24 hours, and maybe on a good day, a couple of, you know, maybe a couple of days, but the shelf life of a platform like Inst um, like YouTube, a platform like Pinterest, it's indefinite. Like literally, I've got videos that are out there that I did when I first started in the online space that are still doing well. And that's because I put them out there. So when it comes to cracking the code on social media, do not think because it's what everybody else is talking about. It should be what you should be doing for your business. Know the platform, understand what's going to work for you. Know yourself as well. Like, are you a person that hates to come on screen? Then you should join our video visibility challenge because we're going to be addressing that. And not only am I going to be talking about ways for you to show up, um, via video, I'm going to also be talking ways that you can show up via video and not you always be the person on the camera because you can still have powerful video without you being on the camera. So if you are video shy, join our video visibility challenge. But video in all platforms is the cat's meow. All of the platforms, no matter what, they love video, maybe Instagram, maybe not so much. But I mean, Instagram has reels and stories or stories. I don't remember which one it has. Video is queen, so to speak, now. 
So you've got to get comfortable with creating video, even if it's video that doesn't have you in the presence. There's so many different tools that you can use. CapCut is one of the, um, I'm not even an expert at CapCut. I got sort of introduced that to one of the travel advisors we went to on Bali. And um, it's amazing. It's another tool that helps you create little short videos with images. And you don't even have to be on camera, right? You can do voiceovers, you can do overlays, and you can do all sorts of fancy stuff on there. My point is you want to be social on social media, you want to be able to monetize the effort that you do when you're when you're posting or you're creating content. Make sure that it's connecting with the people that you want to help get out of town. And the first step in that is making sure you know who the people are and that you've picked a platform that equals your comfort level. Video is queen, hands down. So if you don't want to be on camera and you don't want to do live, so to speak, go to YouTube, go to Pinterest, create video content on YouTube, create video content for shorts on Pinterest, create links that are going to get people back there. That's number two. Number three is consistency. Like you can't just do one video a month and think, oh, I'm going to blow up. Like <laughs> this is, we are in the online space. You're not shaking hands and kissing babies. If you want to have a presence that's strong, you've got to be consistent because what, what the algorithms of the social media platforms will do is they'll forget about you. If you aren't consistent on the platforms, if you aren't creating content, literally, I would have told you two years ago, you don't need to be posting every day. 2024, you need to be posting every day, right? And I'm not talking about posting just, you know, um, motivational content. Don't get me wrong. Motivational content, inspirational content is great. But if you want to be seen and you want to be heard by your ideal content, you've got to be creating relevant content to your ideal client so that the social media platforms will deliver that content to your people. I'm going to give you just one more example before I go, because I do have to go. I'm already over. One example is we just wanted this month to test out on our YouTube channel um, how good, um, how much um, impact if we just added one more live to our channel. So I added Mondays. I, I started a couple of weeks ago. I want to say about two months ago, a month ago, I started going um, live Tuesdays and Thursdays. I added one additional live. I was going live on Wednesdays and then I added Tuesdays and Thursdays, dropped the Wednesday. And now I go two live. Now I go three times a week and my channel visibility has like double tripled, right? The number of views that I'm getting, the number of um, interactions I'm getting, all of that has doubled just by adding one additional piece of content um, a week to our existing um, consistency. So like I said, for years, I did one live video, added a second video, added a third video, and that has increased our availability or visibility across the internet streets, so to speak, right? Not just with our existing people, with our new people, the new exposure that we get, right? We are playing with youtube covers we're playing with the content that's inside of that so all of those things matter when it comes to seeing the results that you want listen i am a queen ai these days right and what i will tell you is pick one platform ask perplexity right to give you some examples of what what is out there already in the internet for your ideal client who's a travel advisor or servicing your community i had one of my clients do this last week is use perplexity to see who are their competitors out there doing the same type of travel who's already in front of their audience and what they discovered are these were the different advisors this is the type of videos that were being done and found their facebook pages so that you could see what's already working if it's already being if it's already working and it's discoverable by a tool like perplexity ai you should be doing it you should be doing more of it so Ladies and gents, I've got to go. Listen, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe out there from uh, the storm. Helen, um, we're, I'm surprised I didn't get my internet didn't go down because um, it is raining profusely here in Georgia. So stay safe. I will see you all next week and um, stay social. Talk to you soon. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, join us inside of Office Hours. If you have any questions, go to sundaygardener.com and join me inside of Office Hours and I will see you inside of there. Talk to you soon. If you're not a Travel Pro Suite member, simply go to onlinetravelboss.com forward slash TPS. 
And if you are already a member and you'd like to join our affiliate program, you'll be able to resell Travel Pro Suite and make 30% monthly recurring income. I look forward to working with you. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. The time is now for you to simplify how you operate your travel business. Bye for now. If you have any questions and you'd like to join us for open office hours, we're starting right now. Go to sundaygardener.com.